In this video, we will go over how to file a claim on the dealer portal. This is assuming you already have your own login. If you don't, you need to have access to the email address that you use when you log in. Over on the left hand side, we'll go down to service, warranty, and then we will click on claims. We'll click on create new claim. Now we will select the claim type, whether it is a boat, trailer, or an engine. We're going to select boat in this case. Now we'll put our whole number in. Hit search. It will go through the system, locate the boat. Now we'll start new claim. Now this part is very important. You know, number one, we do need a date of failure, but right here, pre-authorization request. If this is going to be over $1,500 or contains jail coat or contains upholstery work, we have to select yes here. We'll select this is owned by the customer. We'll check and verify our information. If correct, we will proceed. Here we have to put in a description of what we found and what we did to correct it. It does not have to be super detailed, but it does need to convey the information required. Now we'll pick our date of repair. It's very important we have accurate engine hours. Now we'll add our first part. Now this allows us to just search by general inventory, but if you do not have the exact part number, you can go up here and click on bolt, boat BOM. It'll open the BOM in a new window, and we can type in a search term to find the part that we're looking for. In this case, a swim step pad. We'll grab our part number, copy it, and we'll go back to our claim. We'll search for that part number, paste it here, click search. Then we'll do our little drop down and we'll select our part. This will add a line item to our claim for this part. Now we need to do another little description for this one line item about what the issue was and what we did to repair it. Please forgive my fat fingers. Click update so it saves the line item. Now we don't always have just parts. Sometimes we have just labor, we have stuff that we purchase locally, etc. So we'll click Add Miscellaneous Part, and now we've selected Add Diagnosis Time. This is the time it took us to diagnose the issue with our uh, wiring connection on our SurfKit actuator. Once again, we need to describe it. When finished, we'll update again to save that line item. Now let's say we had some materials that we purchased. We'll go up here. We will select miscellaneous parts materials. Now we'll describe, you know, we'll put our cost in. Then we will describe what we needed to purchase or what we used for this repair. Hit update again to save it. Now we'll add our labor time for our actual wiring repair. Put in our description of what the problem was and what we did to resolve it. Now 
We'll update the line item to save it. If you need to attach documentation, you can click Browse, select a picture or document one at a time or multiples, hit Open, then hit Update again, and it will upload these items to the claim. As you can see, they're now attached. If you're finished with your claim now, you can go up top and hit Submit Claim. This will send it to Malibu for review. If you still have more stuff to add or you get pulled off onto something else, you can click Save as Draft and come back to it later. Now we'll jump back out and we'll go to our main page. We'll go back into the Claim View. And down here we can see claims that we have filed. Up top is a search box where you can go in and search through your claims based upon the specifics you enter. So let's go back into our claim now. After filing the claim, you may receive an email letting you know that there is a question. In a case like that, you'll go down to the bottom here in the notes section, click it. You'll see the question here, but now you can type in your answer. When finished typing, hit add note. Then we'll go back up top again afterwards. And we will resubmit the claim, and that sends it back to us.